in our last session so what we discussed we create we finished a new how to create a custom data source based on a table and then how to replicate into bw system also we seen okay loading data into psa this topic we not covered we will cover it in later point okay so now in today's session what we are going to discuss we are going to discuss on how to you know introduction to info objects and properties of an info object okay so this topic we are going to learn basically on, on today's session so just a brief you know what uh, in our last session we created one data source that is gdssr underscore you know g bill book so on this data source uh, this data source was created on top of a custom table okay and these are the fields here now we, our requirement is as i said the in main data will be on the source system side which is on ecc side r3 side and this data we will bring into bw side by using data source so this concept is completed now when when this data source is available on bw to bw side on top of this data source we need to develop one data flow okay i will let you know what is data flow and all we need to create some objects in bw to load this data from uh, R3 into our BW objects. In order to create any object in BW, uh, we must create, we can create in uh, two ways. One is, you know, info object, info object based modeling. So the same word I can say in different way. When uh, whatever objects we create, we create these objects to do some modeling, you know, reporting and everything. So we can do modeling in two ways. One is info object based modeling. Another one is field based modeling. Okay. Earlier before HANA came into existence, we always do info object based modeling only. After HANA came into picture from BW on HANA. So there is a field based modeling, uh, you know, concept comes into picture. So this field based modeling uh, concept, you know, simplifies our uh, development timelines. We can do the development in a very less period of time. Whereas for info object based modeling, it will take time to, uh, you know, to create objects. It will take more time compared to field based. Now, first we will focus on the info object based modeling. Then we will, uh, you know, learn field based modeling also. Because, you know, uh, important is to learn info object based modeling. A field based modeling is mainly for any person if even who doesn't have too much technical skills also they can do field based modeling very easily so that's why it is less priority our main priority is to learn info object based modeling to perform info object based kind of modeling so we need to create info objects first okay uh, to explain this uh, simply uh, uh, when we creating a table in SAP R3 system, what I said, first we need to identify what is our table, uh, technical name, and what are the columns that I we wish to keep in our table. So this is all the background work we must do before creating a table in the system. We must formulate our table structure, formulate our data types, length and everything. Once all in hand, then start developing your table on the system. So this is the background work we, which we need to perform. In the same way, in BW side, if you wish to create any model, so what are the different uh, uh, objects, uh, if you want to create any objects in BW, like, uh, like you know, ADS4, advanced DS4, or uh, of type uh, standard DS4 cube and all, to create any object in BW, first we need info objects, okay? Um, so, one second. We need to create info objects. Okay. Uh, in ECC side, uh, what I said, in ECC side, data is stored in under table format. So to create a table, I said we need columns, column names and all. In BW also, if, we, if, I, if I create an object kind of like ADS4, if I created this ADS4 at the end is storing data in, in the database in the form of table only. Okay, table means again, it is a combination of multiple columns. Okay, but here when when we are talking about this table, which is, you know, ADS4 related table, here each column is nothing but one info object. 
it means if you want to create an ads flow in pw you need <coughs> info objects first because info objects are the base uh, you know base fields for the uh, ads flow structure for example if i want to create an ads flow uh, with the structure like this so where is which is our data source this is our data source I want to store this data source, whatever data coming as part of this data source into one ADS flow. One second. What is it? Sorry. So, um, to create an ADS flow uh, which stores data of this format. Okay, I am taking this into my Excel sheet. I taken a screenshot of my table and I am taking it to my uh, Excel sheet. Here. So if you want to create an ADS flow of this structure which contains, you know, bill number. Or else I can copy from here also, I guess, right? So which, okay, okay. bill number. Mm. Yeah, this one. Let's take this only. Hmm. So if I want to create an ADS flow which can store data of this kind, so this ADS flow must contain these many columns. How many columns? This, this must contain around eight columns. So eight columns in ADS flow is nothing but eight info objects we need in BW. Okay, eight info objects. So uh, because it, it means each column in an ADS flow representing one one info object okay that's why info object is the base uh, object in PW okay but how to create info object and all I will let you know hmm? info objects are of two kinds okay how where we can create info objects in PW in PW if you wish to create an info object you can create it under one info area Earlier in, uh, you know, earlier in uh, before BW on HANA system, so what is happening? Uh, to create an info object, you must create info object catalog, okay? Because when we uh, started working on projects, we are not sure whether we work on a BW on HANA project or, a, you know, BW on a traditional database. If your project is on BW with a traditional database, you must be aware of how to handle things in uh, in that system. If you are working on BW on HANA with the HANA Studio and all, then you know you must uh, create our uh, info objects in a different way. Concept is same, but you know navigation little bit different. So what is it? So if I go to info object in uh, BW uh, on traditional database, if you wish to create info objects. First of all, you need to go to info objects tab. Okay, like this, you need to go to info object tab. So after going to info object tab, you know, these are the info areas. So in what is info area in BW? What is an info area in BW? Info, this is nothing but a folder structure. Okay, uh, similarly in our uh, system, how we can, you know, uh, as aggregate our data with the different folders in the same way. In BW, if you come to RS11 transaction code, here, uh, you know, you find this symbol or info areas. Info areas are like folders where you can keep your content, okay? For example, if you are working on a sales, uh, you know, on a project and all your sales information, you are going to keep under one folder. All your building relevant information, you are going into one folder. Copa, inventory. So for each data set, we will create one folder, uh, you know, uh, info area. Under, in, under that info area, we will keep all our developments. So that at any point of time, if you uh, want to navigate to your sales area, it is easy for us to navigate. Okay. Uh, under one info area, we can create another info area like this. We can do it like just like our folders. How to create an info area? 
info area can be created either from the SAP GUI or from the HANA Studio. Okay. Sometimes, you know, how to create, just to go to info provider tab, right click, you know, on the top, you can have right click here, create info area. So we are in BW or SAP ECC, uh, anything you created, there will be one technical name, one description column. So for info area also, you know, technical name, this is the technical name column. Okay, technical name column, this is the description column. Once you, for example, let's try to create one um, training objects. Under training objects, so let's uh, create, try to create one info area. Right click on training objects, create uh, info area here. Uh, I am going to SR underscore BW4. HANA. BW4 HANA class objects. Okay. And when we giving the technical name of info area or whatever it may be, any any technical name in BW or as part three will allow only alphanumeric value, alphanumeric, uh, uh, you know, characters and one special character which is underscore. That's it. Apart from these, uh, you know, it won't allow any other special character in SAP. Okay, spaces and all not allowed in the technical name. On description, you can give anything. So you see, when I click on OK, now one info area got created. Now, whatever objects now I am going to create, I will create everything under this info area only. In the similar way, when I give you some, you know, assignments to do something, then you to create one info area under this, uh, you know, training, uh, you can create one info area. Uh, I will let you know where to create. So under that info area, you can create all your objects so that it everything will be under one place. Okay. So next. So once info area is created, then under info area, we are going to create our info objects. So as explained earlier, so for BW on traditional database, there is a different kind of creating info objects. And on BW on HANA, we have a different way of creating info objects. Okay, so if we, if you wish to create info object on BW traditional database, you must go to info objects tab. In info objects tab, you can see the same info areas, whatever we have the structure in info provider, same structure you can find here also. So if I go, if I refresh my here, if I refresh entire tree, then you see under training objects, I can see my info area which is created. So under info area, you must create info object catalog. Okay, so there is a catalog for characteristics, there is a catalog for key figures. Okay, so it means there are two different kind of info objects are there. One is characteristic type of info objects, another one is key figure type of info objects. In BW, we have two different types of info objects. Okay, characteristic type, key figure type. <coughs> Coming back to my example here, so when we, when we wish to create info objects for my data here, this data. Now let's try to you know identify which are characteristic type of key figures and which are key figure type of key figures. So um, it's easy to differentiate. One is car, another one is a key figure, KYF, let's say. Okay. So key figures are the, col uh, the, uh, the, you know, the columns on which we perform arithmetic operations. All those columns must come under key figure section. Okay, and remaining all we can, uh, you know, bring it to characters. Uh, we can remaining all info objects we can create as a characteristic info object. So having this in mind, now bill number, even though it is a numeric number, still we can, you know, we since we don't perform any arithmetic operations on bill number, so it comes under characteristic type. Okay, item number also characteristic info object. Okay, date also characteristic info object material also characteristic because on all these columns i never perform any arithmetic operations okay but when come to quantity quantity means i may need to add these quantities to get the result summation of it it means on this column i am going to perform arithmetic operations to get that my desired results so that's why this quantity column falls under key figure info object type okay key figure info object type unit also comes under characteristic and then currency also this currency here also these are numeric values we on which i will perform arithmetic operations so this is a key figure currency also care uh, this care or you know unit unit one more type but care let's call it as care only okay 
So these are the two different info object categories which we must know. One is info object type and another key figure type. So I hope you are clear with how to differentiate between in characteristic data type and the key figure data type. Okay. Next thing. Uh, you must create uh, info object catalogs. So how it will be, mm, you know, if you create a catalog, it is like this because our demo system is on PW on HANA. So there is no need of creating characteristic catalogs in our system. Okay. So you see like this, it will come characteristic catalog and key figure catalog under, under these catalogs, you need to create your info objects. So just I give, I'm giving you a concept here, but I'm not going to, you know, uh, tell anything here. Okay. Uh, because uh, we are in PW on HANA. So this is one way. For example, if your system is on PW on HANA, then you must go to HANA Studio. You must go to HANA Studio to create info objects. So right click on PW repository, click on refresh. Then under, you know, in BW on HANA, if you open your system, you know, with a BW modeling perspective and log into your system under, you know, BW repository, you can find your info areas. These are the info areas, what exactly you are seeing on your SAP GUI. Okay, same info areas, nothing different here. Okay, under training, we created one, uh, you know, uh, where is practice, right, SR training, under SR training, we can see whichever info area which we created recently. Okay, under this info area, there are no objects. Now, if we wish to create some info objects under this info area, right click on it info area, new and then create info object you know this is the info object so when we creating info object you see it is asking two options info object type and data type as i said we have you know two info object type mainly but you know it's not two four are there so basically when we talk about two types but uh, you know uh, in our example as i explained earlier this currency unit and quantity unit these are not falls under you know characteristic these falls under unit type units okay that here in the object type if you see unit right this is the one and the other one fourth one is double xl uh, we will talk about double xl later point okay but when coming to bw point of view the main two things which we use is characteristic and key figure and all the units you know which is quantity related unit a currency unit those two units comes under unit uh, info object type okay to create any info object we need to uh, create one technical name and description so before creating anything, because our requirement is to create, you know, info objects for this data set. So first formulate our technical names on the Excel sheet and then let's, uh, we create the um, info objects. So when creating an info object, so there are some rules, the technical name. When you creating a table, it's up to you, you know, how much length you are giving for your technical name. But when coming to info object creation, you cannot give your technical name more than nine characters. Okay. It means, um, and naming convention is important. All, uh, you know, SAP is uh, giving a lot of standard info objects. Okay. Okay. We will come to the topic also later. Let's try to create some info objects first. So let's formulate G bill underscore NO. So for example, is equal to uh, length of this one. How much length? Eight characters. So this is fine. Item number. So G bill, um, G bill underscore item number, item. Mm, copy. Nine. So this is also fine. Not more than nine. That's why I'm checking. So here, I will show you some standard info objects also. So let's take here created on. So when we when we take uh, or else a G date, let's take a G date. Don't want to go for standard now. And then material G mat material. See, uh, yeah, it is also fine. And characters G quantity. and then you know zero unit here definitely we must take uh, standard info objects so zero unit and currency g currency 
and then zero currents. Yeah. So these are the technical names of the info objects which we are supposed to create now. And coming to data type, each of these these are the data types for this info objects, info object types. And length. So length already we know. Okay. So it is almost similar to the table length. In the table, this bill number is of length 10 means in a BW side, when we creating an info object for this column in BW, you must take the same length. Okay. <coughs> 10. So now let's see how to create this info object. So go to HANA Studio, provide your info object name and then description, bill number. And then so name description is important and then info object type characteristic so next is after info object type the next important property is data type okay so if you're creating a info object characteristic info object now this info object can store for you know one two three five five different kind of data okay one is characteristic numerical text date time and sign numeric characteristic okay we will get to know what is what uh, i will give you simple examples okay for example bill number uh, uh, bill number is always if your bill number is always numerical numerical string here you see it is always a numerical there are no alphabets coming under this column if we, that is the case then what you can do you can create this info object as a numerical uh, string also numerical text also for pin code number for mobile number to make you know to make sure the data is coming properly we will select the proper kind of data sets but in general in sap uh, for a bill number document number and all we give character string only okay i am keeping it as it is if you want to create any date then you must give date type here data type as date if you want to create in for example in our example here when you creating an info object to store the created on information then this info object you must select the data type as dates here okay similarly when you are trying to store time information you must give time and the sign numeric character we will discuss later uh, even i am not never used that one okay click on finish so bill number uh, technical name description info object type and data type and then click on finish so after clicking on finish you see uh, on the top this is the info object you know uh, symbol and there is a cross mark here which is which means info object got created you see here under our info area there is a folder created called characteristic under that you can see your info object node but here on the icon there is a one red color symbol which means it is not in active state okay i will tell you what is active state now later so bill number here after clicking on ok our next thing is we must provide the length of our uh, you know info object 10 is our length because uh, in our table we have length 10 so similarly for info object also we must create of length 10 of length 10 and apart from this thing we have many other properties here you see high cardinality case sensitive mass data text hierarchies attribute only all these we will discuss on coming you know coming time not immediately uh, and further sessions we will discuss about all these things as of now you know let's keep it like this uh, length and then activate this is the activation button click on activate so once it is activated successfully this red color you know icon will be disappeared you see red color icon will be disappeared here so one info object got created successfully now close this one so next create the second info object which is bill item of length 3 so right click on your uh, characteristic folder create new characteristic and then bill item so item number finish of length 3 activate once activated let's cre uh, create the other info objects too next is g date right click new characteristic created on but here since this is g date is going to store date kind of uh, information i must select the data type as dates okay click on finish 
So whenever you give dates, uh, you know, to give to any length, it will take the length from the system field. Hmm. Next one is G material. What happened? Hmm. Okay. So next one. Sorry. Right click, new characteristic material. Material and the material is of length 18. Characteristic only. Here length 18 and then click on activate. So now we learned about how to create the characteristic info object. From now we are coming to key figure info object. Now let's learn about how to create key figure info object. Okay, now to create a key figure info object, again, you must right, right click on your info area, not on the characteristic, okay, because we are going to create now new type here. So right click on info area, go to new, again info object, and select, give your technical name, give your description, quantity, and then info object type must be selected as key figure. If you select key figure on the data type, you will have a different options. So when you create a key figure, then this can be of currency, floating point, decimal, dates, int, force, times, quantity, many are there. But as of now, if you see here, we are creating info object for quantity column. If it is of type quantity, you must select the data type as quantity. Okay, Q U A L quantity, you must select it. And then click on finish. So when you are creating info object type of type quantity, as I said in BW in SAP, quantities are tightly integrated with their unit and currency also tightly integrated with their currency. Okay, so that's why when you creating info object of type quantity, you must provide what is the corresponding you know unit for it. Are you going to fix this unit, or are you going to use another column to store the unit information? So in our case, we are using another column to store the unit information. So here I am uh, you know, utilizing one of the standard info object zero unit to store the units information. So here come, uh, come to the currency unit section, select this radio button and provide zero unit and then click on activate. That's it. So uh, you see now under our info area, we have another key figure folder created. Under that, you can see this G quantity info object created. Similarly, now create one more info object uh, for currency. Create new info object. And you know, we since you know this column, you no need to create because quant whenever you bring quantity, unit automatically comes into picture. And that too, this is a standard info object. Okay, I am directly jumping into G currency figure currency here you know uh, amount i can give amount in object type key figure data type currency and then click on finish as this info object is of type of currency it is also tightly bounded with their corresponding currency or unit here you must provide the currency zero currency info object zero currency is a unit currency unit info object okay activate So done. So we created all the info objects for our data set. Okay. Now we are going to learn how to create.